Letwin Mugabazi started worrying when her daughter's behavior changed. Tawanasha became cold and distant. Then mom saw horrible bruises on her back. The 10-year-old said she was often beaten when she got answers wrong in class or didn't do her homework properly. I ask you, why are you not happy today? What happened at school? Then she said, ah, uh, tomorrow I'm not going to school. Then I said, why are you not going to school tomorrow? Said, I'm afraid to go there. Say, why are you afraid? Said, I'm afraid of the teacher. A UN survey in 2011 interviewed 13 to 17 year old children in Zimbabwe. The survey found 99% of girls and 95% of boys suffered physical violence by teachers. A High Court judge recently ruled corporal punishment in schools was cruel, degrading and an assault on human dignity. Tindai Biti represented one mother whose child was repeatedly beaten with a rubber pipe by a teacher. The lawyer says the court ruling is revolutionary. Zimbabwe is largely a Christian community which uh, believe that uh, a child has to be beaten and there's an abused passage uh, from the Bible uh, that says uh, spare the rod and spoil the child. So the Bible is abused to justify uh, corporal abuse of, uh, of children. But these parents say they are confused with the court ruling. They all feel disciplining naughty children should be encouraged as long as teachers don't use too much force. It's how children have been disciplined here for centuries. I need them to be beaten just because we, our pa as parents, we were beaten at schools and we were disciplined. If you take a little child, you will see he or she having a, a piece of cigarette, tasting to, to smoke. So if I see him or her, I must beat her or her or him to control him. This is bad. Not all teachers and parents believe in corporal punishment. Some prefer other forms of discipline, such as sending children out of the classroom or forcing them to clean the school toilets. The constitutional court still has to confirm the High Court judgment. Human rights activists say it's good news, but warn enforcing the law won't be easy, especially in remote areas. Changing age-old attitudes in conservative Zimbabwe could prove difficult. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Harare.